Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app. You can attempt the quiz in this app and you can read detailed explanation. For regular updates, please join our telegram channel. The link is given in the description box. We have started a new channel Civils Academy. You can subscribe to it if you find it relevant. For hard copy books, you can visit our website gktbooks.com. Now let's start. Which is the only country other than India to pass the miscarriage bereavement leave law. So this country is New Zealand and other than India, it is the only country to pass such law. Now first thing first, what is the objective of this legislation? This will provide employees three day leave when a pregnancy ends with a stillbirth. Now what is the meaning of this term stillbirth? Stillbirth is a death or loss of a baby before or during delivery. So both miscarriage and stillbirth describe the pregnancy loss. Now, New Zealand passed a legislation and that is why it was in news. So far, India and New Zealand are the only country which have such legislation. What is the name of our law which provide maternity benefits? It is MBA, that is Maternity Benefit Act and it was amended in 27. Now, New Zealand is also a part of Five Eyes Alliance. So, this is an intelligence sharing alliance of New Zealand, Australia, US, Canada and UK. Recently, US was in news because India US Special Forces conducted Vajra Prahar. So, this is a joint exercise and it was conducted in Baklok. This place is in Himachal Pradesh. Name of exercises Vajra Prahar. Apart from that, few other exercises were in news. One such exercise is Aces Meet. So, Pakistan is going to conduct this exercise and it is Air Force exercise. In addition to that, recently India and Madagascar, that means the navies of India and Madagascar conducted a joint patrolling in the EEZ of Madagascar. What is EEZ? It is Exclusive Economic Zone. Apart from that, one more naval exercise was in use and it is La Pirose. So this is a French naval exercise and Indian Navy is going to take part in this exercise. In fact, all the Quad members are going to take part in this. Quad is Quadrilateral Security Dialogue. Four countries are the member, Australia, India, USA and Japan. Japan is the host of Tokyo Olympic Games and recently the torch relay was started from Japan. Which institution releases the annual flagship report World Economic Outlook? So this is released annually by IMF. This time it is going to be released on 6th of April. Of course, date is not important. So name of report is World Economic Outlook. It is released by IMF that is International Monetary Fund. IMF and World Bank are known as Bretton Woods institutions. Apart from that, few other reports were in news. One is World Development Report. So this is released by World Bank. Theme is Data for Better Lives. So this is the first World Development Report which focused mainly on the role of data for the development. Apart from that, recently one more report was in news and it is Investment Opportunities in India's Health Sector. And this is a report by Niti Ayo. In addition to that, recently Global Wind Report was also in news and it is a report by Global Wind Energy Council. What is ever given? So it is the name of cargo ship. Recently it was in news because it was stuck in the Swedish Canal. Now we have already covered this entire issue in our previous lecture. So please check that. From exam perspective, you should know the geographical location of Swedish Canal and it is a man-made canal. Second thing is that it divides continental Africa from Sinai Peninsula. Now, recently one more event related to ship was in news and Norway is going to construct world's first ship tunnel. So which country is going to construct world's first ship tunnel? This country is Norway. Which state has recommended a judicial inquiry against the central agencies including ED? So next question is which state has recommended a judicial inquiry against the central agencies including ED. So, Kerala government has decided to recommend a judicial inquiry against the central agencies. Actually, this entire issue is in the backdrop of gold smuggling case. You need not to go into too much details because that is not that much important from exam perspective. But the entire scenario is that as per Kerala government, the central authorities are derailing the investigation in gold smuggling case. So that is why the state government of Kerala has decided to appoint K.V. Mohan Commission for Judicial Investigation. And 
के वी मोहन इज रिटायर्ड जज अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट रिसेंटली वन मोर कमेटी वॉज इन न्यूज एंड इट इज एच आर नगेंद्रा कमेटी सो दिस कमेटी वॉज इन न्यूज एज इट हैज बीन सेटअप बाई मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ आयुष बाई आयुष मिनिस्ट्री सेटअप दिस कमेटी टू एक्सप्लोर पोटेंशियल ऑफ योगा एज ए प्रोडक्टिविटी एनहांसिंग टूल दैट मीन्स टू एक्सप्लोर टू वट एक्सटेंट योगा कैन हेल्प यू इन एनहांसिंग और इम्प्रूविंग योर प्रोडक्टिविटी सो दिस काउंसिल और दिस कमेटी will be headed by hr nagendra who has been appointed as the chairperson of airports authority of india so mr sanjeev kumar has been appointed as the chairperson of aai that is airport authority of india apart from him few other appointments were in news mr saurabh garg has been appointed as the ceo of uidai that is unique identification authority of india it is under meity that is ministry of electronics and information technology Mr Sanjeev Kumar has been appointed as the chairperson of AAI that is Airport Authority of India Mr Atish Chandra has been appointed as the CMD of Food Corporation of India Now answer in comment box FCI is under which union ministry Apart from him recently Mukhmeet Singh Bhatia has been appointed as the new DG of ESIC that is Employees State Insurance Corporation ESIC is under Ministry of Labour and Employment On the other hand Prashant Kumar Singh has been appointed as the CEO of Government E-Marketplace. Government E-Marketplace is a special purpose vehicle for procurement in Ministry of Commerce. So in one appointment question we have covered five questions. Apart from him recently one more personality was in news and he is Justice NV Ramanna. So answer in comment box why Justice NV Ramanna was in news recently. SEBI modified the requirement to formulate dividend distribution policy by top 500 listed companies to how many companies now top 1000 companies will be covered what is the entire issue see first thing first what is dividend so suppose you invest your money in some company and that company earned profit so it is going to distribute some part of that profit to its stakeholders or to its shareholders this is dividend so technically dividend is a distribution of profit by a corporation to its shareholders and the amount if not given back is usually reinvested in the business now is it mandatory to give dividend every year no it is not mandatory so why this issue was in use because now the top 1000 listed companies need to properly formulate the dividend distribution policy previously these rules were applicable to only top 500 companies top 500 listed companies now these rules will be applicable to top 1000 listed companies sebi that is securities and exchange board of india is the market regulator that means stock market regulator for companies we have companies act of 2013 and it is governed by mca that is ministry of corporate affairs in fact csr is also a part of this companies act and india is the first country in the world to have a law regarding csr what is csr it is corporate social responsibility now recently this mca that is ministry of corporate affairs was also in news because of iep fa application or mobile app what is this iep fa it is investor education and protection fund authority so as the name suggest it is for the education and protection of investor recently this was launched and it was launched by nirmala sitaraman nirmala sitaraman is our present finance minister C also holds the portfolio of MCA and this IEP FA is an initiative by Ministry of Corporate Affairs which legendary singer won the Maharashtra Bhushan award this is the highest state honor by the state government of Maharashtra so Asha Bhosle won this Maharashtra Bhushan award for 2020 and this is the highest honor by state government of Maharashtra it is given to recognize the outstanding achievements of eminent personalities and it was instituted in 1996 who has been selected as ey entrepreneur of year 2020 so mr harsh mariwala has been selected as ey entrepreneur for 2020 he is the chairperson of mariko and mariko is a consumer goods company apart from him pratap chandra reddy the executive chairperson of apollo hospitals was given the lifetime achievement award bajju ravindran was given the award for business transformation and pius bansal of lenskart was given the and pius bansal of lenskart was awarded in the startup categories so lifetime achievement award was given to the chairperson of apollo hospitals business transformation award was given to the chairperson of baju and in startup category the award was given to the pius bansal of lenskart 
the sub web portal is associated with which union ministry so it is associated to ministry of education present education ministry is ramesh pokhrel nishank recently this portal was in use because the education minister released 100 plus comic book created by the teachers and students of cbsc schools so this are is online learning portal what is the full form of disha it is digital infrastructure for school education and this is an initiative by ncert what is ncert it is national council of educational research and training and this ncert is under ministry of education now recently education minister was also in news as he inaugurated anandam and this was inaugurated at iim jammu so what is this anandam it is the center for happiness so these were the most important questions now get ready for the test please make sure that you attempt the test without pausing the timer and write down your score in the comment box Thank you and that's all for the day.